didn't particularly mean to have a green screen up, but since it's here, might as well use it. I don't know how good it's gonna look in the background, but eh, whatever. So, I am approaching the end of my first um, Lion King musical mask of this year. If you're watching the live stream, you saw how it started. Making the base cap wasn't really that difficult a job. It was just a matter of taping together some loops and gluing them, and then some arches and gluing them, and then cutting a few rounded triangles, and then beating them into submission in a three-dimensional complex curve with lots more gluing. Lots and lots and lots of gluing. But that is not actually this mask. That one is floating around here somewhere. I think it's down here. No, nope, that's not it. That's not it. Okay, it's definitely around here somewhere. I seem to have misplaced it at the moment, but oh, found it. Yeah, I still haven't finished putting in the uh, last two segments and it's still too small for me. What am I doing that for? The mask is almost completely finished. The only thing I have to do is finish off putting on some details just with some marker. Uh, I've started it there. It's gonna go around up the cheek to the in down the ear. Oh, I did the ear already. So I haven't finished the cheek and go to the other side. And then that is going to be Nala. Well, I wonder if I should darken the eyes a little bit more. Honestly, I'm not 100% happy with it, but then I never am. I would have actually liked the ears to be up a little higher and a little pointier, but but the way I got this wrapped, it actually had such a nice flow that I just kind of went with it. I think it's not horrible, but they could have been a little more liony. Oh, well, time to draw with marker. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And I know it doesn't fit, still doesn't fit. Hmm. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> and there goes the ruler. What if we should just put a little layer of cardboard in there to flush that out, it's a different size. I might do that, I don't know. That's not really essential to the build. My first one is finished. I think it's, it's not bad, it'll be a good uh, addition to go along with the Simba mask from last year. I'm probably gonna have to get those masks, like the Simba mask and the Pumbaa head and the elephant and the birds and the giraffe a couple weeks early just for maintenance and repair. One down, maybe five, four or four more to go. I'm thinking of making two Impalas just because I think one Impala wouldn't be enough. Two Impalas would be good together with those curvy, beautiful horns, those are going to be a challenge. And I'm thinking of making some kind of Timon, and I just realized the other day I should make a Zazu of some kind. Got some blue tape just for Zazu, so um, that might be what I do next, I haven't decided. Now that is done and ready to dance with Simba. I didn't take any video of making this because there's a lot of just sitting there and thinking time and, and trying things and cutting pieces and figuring out no that's wrong and scrapping it and cutting a piece and finding it's just slightly wrong and shaving it down it's just it's a lot of dead time this is the first one i've done like this in about a year i just wanted to do it so that's why there's no other making video except for me drawing on it and the time lapse of the base helmet head portion base but hopefully for the next ones there will be oh one little tip i i just something i figured out if you are cutting a very fine point into cardboard that you want to keep that detail, fill in the air spaces with hot glue. It really strengthens it. This is stiff as anything where before if you just touched it, we would bend it. Now it is nice and strong. That's a good tip. If you like what you see, click the thumbs up. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified of new videos all the time. Please check out the Patreon page, my coloring book on Etsy, and anything else that happens to be in the description. Thank you very much to our patrons and everybody who's watching.